All right, I got some new mods. Uh, can I tell you what the new mods are? Sure, I don't know. Uh, the Gatherer, Blackbeard, Mod Clawfex. So I'm gonna mess around with this one. Uh, Marissa got that working. Mad Scientist, Always Whale. So you don't have to win a run to get Neo to actually give you stuff. Which is good, because I wanted to... I hate that. I, if... If I get a really, really bad pull, I'd rather just reboot a run than try and, like, coast along with something garbage. Uh, there might be some other stuff in here I've totally missed. The mod list, as always, will be in the bottom right corner when I start runs. So, uh, for those of you that continuously ask for the mod list, please stop. It's right there. Full screen it or something. I get so many people asking for my direct mod list and it's like, I can't, I can't make it something consistent, unfortunately. Okay. So, we've got a modded version of the defect that I want to mess around with, just to see what happens. Uh, it's called uh, Dr. Claw, or Clawfect, or whatever. And it more or less mods a lot of the cards to be Claws. Which, I'm kind of interested in finding that. Mod Clawfect, claw lose one energy at the start of each turn. Let's get rid of that for Black Star. And thank you, Devan Crew, for the five-month resub. How's it going? All right, so we want to go after as many mid-bosses as we can go after. Well, in that case, let's save and quit for a second. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to color some of the... I'm going to color some of the, the mid-bosses so we know what we're looking for. I'm going to just make them red. It's still going to look like an ugly thing. But that's okay. Let's see. Person I was hosting had some sort of quest thing. Yeah, this thing. Uh, it's from Infinite Spire, I think. Okay, so we want to find mid bosses. It looks like at best we'd be able to get a two chain of mid bosses. And wouldn't be pretty. Otherwise, we could do this, which is a really long mystery machine shop, bunch of other stuff. Yeah. I'd like to black star as much as I can, but let's not let's not avoid the mystery machine. Anyway, uh, claws deal minus three damage. Increase increase the damage of all claw cards by two. Interesting. I'm curious how this is going to go. Ridiculously, I can only imagine. Uh, so obviously, I want to do a run that is nothing but claw. You may call me Dr. Claw, that is that is who I am, that is what I am. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, this isn't overpowered or anything. Claw Snap, deal minus six damage, channel one frost, increase the damage of all claws. Yes. What the? Welcome. What the? What happened? What happened here? What's up with the... What happened to the merchant? What is this? Who are you? Oh, this is the Jedi mod, maybe. I can I can effectively spend HP to buy stuff. So blood payments. Huh. Okay. I like the future boss chests have one additional thing you can grab. Superconductor for every 10 orbs cha channel trigger passive effect of all orbs. That's kind of interesting. During your turn, you're immune to damage. Would be interesting. Let's see. Does wax seal work on these health costs? I have no idea. We don't have wax seal as an option here though, unfortunately. Be it, well, we could try it. Okay, it doesn't look like it reduces the cost, unfortunately. It's still worth it, though. Just makes relics and shops cheaper. So is this current or max HP? This is current. I think I'm going to pick up the lucky rock, maybe? Box or riot? Uh, you mean the? Yeah, let's let's grab the box. 
And then let's probably stop, because otherwise I'm going to kill myself. Some of these would be kind of neat, but not in this run. I haven't seen that guy before. He's cool. Alright, so I'm not exactly stronger than I was when I came into this. And in fact, this is going to be kind of risky problems, but that's okay. Yeah, so we want to just pick up claws and see if I can get things that actually make it so I can draw more. Uh, that one item that makes it so... Oh, what is it? Uh, every time you play two cards in a round, you draw another card. That on its own would be kind of incredible for this run. Okay, Claw and Doom. Deal minus 10 damage to all enemies. Channel 1 Dark. Increase the damage of all Claw cards by 1. Ball line. Minus 15 damage. Here's the damage of all claws. Nah. Deal 15 dam or deal five damage. If you've played less than three cards this turn, draw a card. Let's got let's grab FTL, because that actually does damage and draws. Okay, and do we upgrade a card? Well, we could upgrade FTL. Four cards this turn, draw a card. Just reduce the max. What about this? Okay, let's let's just upgrade um, Claw Snap so it does a little bit more base damage. And let's keep going. Heal or remove a card. Let's heal. That way I can smith up another card. Honestly, I'm just going to start smithing up the Claws. Unfortunately, it really only increases their damage. But the sooner we get it going, the sooner I actually can hurt some of these guys. Yeah, so negative damage. What? Uh, it's a... It's an interesting, I'm going to say build, uh, but effectively there's a mod that just modifies all of the defects cards to be claw related, uh, which is actually really fun. Uh, do we block this? Yeah, we're going to block this. It'll make him stronger, but I don't want to, I don't want to tank too much of that hit, especially because I'm probably going to kill him. Yeah, this round. Worth it. Bottled Flame, choose an attack I can always start with. Let's grab Claw Snap. Curious Feather, whenever you play a power, gain one strength. Ooh. Should get some powers then. Claw Pile Driver. Costs one, though. I don't really like any of these. So let's skip. Let's keep our... Let's keep our deck small. And keep upgrading these. Yeah, this is probably... I'm probably going to turn this mod off after this run, to be totally honest. I just wanted to try it once. So, Pen Nib is real good. Blood Vial, also real good. Remove all block from the from an enemy. Deal minus 10 damage, increase all claws by one. Yeah, let's grab Pen Nib. Because no matter what, Pen Nib's going to be goofy, goofy strong for this. Let's see. Yeah, Blood Vial would have been nice to supplement, but I think I'll be okay. Okay, Claw Snap. Oh, I actually have to do damage to him to chunk off his armor. Well, that's good to know. But yeah, Blood, blood Vial would be a good idea. I just really want to give... I, I really want to give Pen Nib a go, because with the way my damage scales, that's effectively going to make me extremely strong. Because I'm going to be playing a lot of claws. Deal minus four damage for each channeled orb. Increase the damage of all claw cards by two. Yeah, I gotta go Claw Rage. And let's, let's upgrade it. Because that could do a lot of damage. You again. Well, I'm poor as dirt. So, I guess we're just leaving. Uh, who are we up against? We're up against him. So, actually, healing before his fight is a bad idea. Let's just upgrade uh, FTL. Okay, so Cold Snap. Claw Rage. Claw, Claw. 
And no point in defending. We do have a jar of slime. We'll do that after his initial hit. Because yeah, oh, he still does a decent chunk of damage here, though. That's not so bad. But I figure if we're up against Hexaghost, we might as well go nuts on this. The sound effects reset, because it feels like they're really loud for some reason. But maybe I just turned up my volume at some point and I didn't even notice. Well, that's okay. Let's see, I've only channeled one orb, so Claw Rage is not as cool as I was hoping it would be. But that's fine. Okay, so how long will it take Wander to stop playing Kingdom Hearts 3 when it comes out? I honestly, I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna play it. I'd like to, but I've, I haven't like recorded or even streamed any of the previous games with the exception of like half of 1.5 and all of one. At the start of your turn, add a red and power card to your hand. We want to go creative AI. Seven damage to all enemies four times. Backfire to your hand. Interesting. No, we want to go creative AI, because that works incredibly well with Curious Feather. In energy at the start of each turn, shop spaces are replaced with elite spaces, scarier mask, or we could go eternal feather. My deck's not going to be that big, though. I like the idea of Ma Filet. So let's go Ma Filet. Just because we've already got Black Star, that can only benefit us, kind of. Alright, let's go this way. Probably. I'll get up to here and decide what I'm going to do. Okay, Claw Snap. Claw. Claw Rage. Defend and defend. Yeah, so I've got a little bit of energy now, so I can I can get some more expensive cards if I want. And I will, probably. And no more shops, I think. I think I can still get them from Mystery Machine, uh, or Mystery Spots. Now, do we do Creative AI? I gotta upgrade Creative AI, but it's worth it. It will be okay. Static Discharge. Static Discharge, Defend, Defend. Claw, Claw, Claw Rage. Ooh, that's some damage. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Reprogram, Panic Button, Claw Line. I think I'm gonna skip these. Okay, and we're up against the Book of Stabbing. Well, I'm the Book of Clawing. So what do we do? Do we start with the steroid potion? Now let's go with the power potion. Buffer, mediation, crystallizer. Just do buffer. He's not going to hit me this time. But we might as well let buffer take that hit. Ish. Let's see. Can Clawline become negative energy? I wish. That'd be... That'd be real strong. Okay, so now he's going to hit me once. Cost me buffer, but that's fine. This is going to hurt. Okay. Should be good. Yeah, I want the Canopic Jar or whatever it is. Okay, we do loop. That gets me a little bit more strength. Claw. Claw. Claw snap. Claw again. Defend. I should have I should have used the steroid potion. I overestimated how much damage I was gonna do to him. Uh bird faced urn, not canopic jar. Oh well. The start of combat apply three language to all enemies. And at the end of your turn, unused energy is converted into block. Not bad. Darkness clawing beam. Or cool headed. We gotta go cool headed. I need to ch channel some more orbs. Well, that's okay. Uh, claw snap. Claw. Claw. And we'll just wait. Oh, interesting! It doesn't actually convert the energy, it looks like. It, it just... Any unused energy just becomes... Okay. That's got some options. Let's do creative AI. Okay. 
Okay. So he is going to hit me for 18. Do you do Hello World? Yeah, we'll just do Hello World. I'm not going to be able to block a whole lot of that anyway. Owie. Lock on, Claw Rage, Claw, FTL. Claw Snap. Claw. Claw again. Okay, and he's dead. We get an Echo Drop. Which should be interesting. Shuffle all rare or non-status cards in your discard pile back into your draw pile. Draw two cards. Block equal to the number of cards in your discard pile. None of these are terribly helpful. Yet. Which kind of sucks for what I'm trying to do here. Let's fight. Okay, so these guys are butts. Let's... Echo Draught, Steroid Potion, Jar of Slime, we're going for Bear. Okay, Pen Nib him. Cool, kill Bear on the first round. I've never actually done that before. That seems kind of OP. It's a Berserker build, which has its downsides, honestly. It is pretty OP, though. I, w I will give you that. Okay, and then we don't need to do any more. Perfect. Yeah, considering your HP and the lack of shops, paying gold might have been a good idea. Yeah, but I want the red mask. Also, they're not hurting me. Let's do Pool Headed, Claw Snap, FTL, Claw again. Uh, let's see. And we don't need to do anything. I've got plenty of block. Yeah, we just we just had some bad luck on the first uh, first two fights in here, but yeah, red mask for the extra vulnerability might be okay, might be useless. I don't know, and none of these are that good for what I'm doing. Spot a loose brick with a pillar that catches your eye. Uh, let's see, I can receive an iron wave and store another card. What could I store? Be interesting to leave creative AI. Onto a different, uh... Onto a different run. Yeah, let's receive Iron Wave and just give it a defend. It's a shitty thing to do, but I'll give it to a different run. Okay, we wanna... No, 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 no. I want to, but we should heal. Then we might have to go up this way. Worth it. Okay, snake plant. Oh, it applies weak to all enemies for the first round. You know, that's actually better. In a way. Let's do iron wave, let's do defense. Yeah, we're good. And funnel isn't exactly amazing, but it's not bad. Okay. Definitely enough damage. Oh, we're gonna take one here. That's not so bad. Okay, so he's not gonna hit me, so let's do... Creative AI and then just keep clawing him. Ah, uh, Bird-Faced Urn would be so good on this... on this round. Okay, Scraping Claws. Deal... Minus 8 damage, draw 2 cards. Discard all cards drawn this way that do not cost 0. Increase the damage of all claws. It's okay. Let's grab Hologram instead, though. It's a block and it gets me a claw. And, oh, we're up against a Headlouse. That's an interesting one. Alright. Claw Snap. Hologram. Claw Snap again. Claw. Claw. Claw of Rage. Gets him to curl up. Okay. And yeah, we've got tons of defenses. And thank you, Koppel, for the 101 bits. Spent the whole stream trying to figure out what to say with these, but I'm stumped. I sure hope not. I think Price would have something to say about that. Okay, let's get some more of this. Creative AI. Um, Let's just hit that front louse. Oh, it doesn't have curl up. Well, I'll just hold on to that. Yeah, I wonder if I could go ice cream and actually uh, double dip with the funnel. 
be an interesting thing to try. Okay. So we're pretty good. My defenses are nice. Going pure, pure frost is nice. Having a little bit of extra focus gen here would actually be kind of a nice change of pace. Shedding on taking attack damage. Spawns a minion once per turn. Interesting. Okay. Well, we can just claw it to death, I think. And they're all gone. Perfect. Dentures. Whenever you play a power, add a copy of it to your discard pile 50% of the time? Oh, we need some more powers here. Bad. Rebound would be interesting. Stack would be interesting. I like charge battery. I really like charge battery. Grab charge battery. Preserved ins insect. Elites have more. Okay, I'm I'm gonna skip that one elite. We gotta we gotta upgrade creative AI. It's it's an albatross. A bad one. Okay, claw snap. Who's the weakest link? You are. Okay, and they're not they're not gonna hit me yet. They're going to hit me, though. At least they've got... We've got some benefits here. Okay, you want to give me Claw Snap back. Charge Battery. 8 damage. 24 damage. Now let's keep working on killing that, that back one. And we've got enough... We've got enough defense. It's a battle of the ramp up. Luckily, we've got a decent chunk of ramp ramp up here. Ah, oh, this is a good time for the dex potion. All right. How much damage? 10, 12. Okay, kill that guy. Let's start hitting him. Defend up. All right. Yeah, they're not going to touch me. Okay, so we get a buffer. Buffer wouldn't be bad. Buffer... Claw. Claw Rage, which is just going to one-shot him. And we're going to defend. He's going to hit me for no damage because buffer. Thank you. I have another buffer. And I'm going to kill him anyway. We really need burn face, Bird Face Urn. In two shielding for every five cards in your discard pile. Huh. Burst Dark. Deal six damage at the end of your turn. Increase damage of this card by your focus. Uh, I that's interesting. Neither of these are helpful for what I'm trying to do, but it's interesting. I haven't done any of those. Okay. I can upgrade that, upgrade that, upgrade cool-headed. Upgrading cool-headed might not be a bad idea. Let's do that. Two extra cards is really, really nice. We need more hand management, honestly. One of 20 cards from another character to add to your deck, or heal for 25. Uh, let's try it. Let's see what we could get. Because I've got a lot of classes in, and I'm curious. Okay. What we... I, I'm curious what we could end up with this. I, I was hoping for a... Choose two out of four lesser potions to gain with the help of Gatherer's Thought. Aw. Oh. Yeah, we should try some of the other classes. None of these look like powers, though, which sucks. There's one. At the start of your turn, add a random cantrip to your hand and draw one last card. E. <laughs> Terror! <laughs> oh. Oh, in retrospect, Terror is ridiculous on this build. Fluid movement is a power. Combo caster is pretty good. 
I might... I might have to go Terror, though. We're going Terror. For very... I mean, honestly, it shouldn't even be that... Arcane of a reason. Right. It's gonna... Actually not hurt. Oh, man. Funnel is perfect on this build. Okay. Cool-headed. Hologram. Give me Claw Snap back. Keep hitting her. Because she needs to go down. We've got Pendib. He's gonna hit me for 10. Uh, I guess we might as well defend. Yeah, we're good. I was hoping for shivs. Oh man, infinite blades on this build would be pretty fun. Alright, let's do creative AI. That gets me a little bit. We can't merc her, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna apply terror to him. Oh, I could have used FTL. What was I doing? Whatever, I'll live. Okay, Storm. Whenever you play a power card, channel one lightning. Ooh, that's interesting. I think that'll just kill him. Perfect. Aha! Electrodynamics. Lightning now hits all enemies. Channel two lightning. Channels lightning and stuff. Okay, well, it didn't do a whole lot of damage here, but whatever. That's fine. Let's see, Centurion does more damage after you kill the healer. I'm aware. It's just really hard to kill the Centurion otherwise. Multicast. Actually, Multicast might be interesting and useful. But not always. Let's skip it. Alright. And then I should heal. Okay. Oh, good. We start with creative. AI. Battery. Chill snap. We're good. Let's see. Empty bin. At the start of your turn, exhaust all common cards in your hand and gain four block for each. That's terrifying. Especially because claw is a common card. That's really bad. Okay, give me a hologram. I need Claw Snap back. 12 damage. We don't have any more. Let's just defend up instead of using the Iron Wave here. Let's see, you can play the cards to not exhaust it. Oh, yeah, you know, that's a good point. All right, well, let's do loop. Uh, let's see, we have Claw Rage. We've got three, so let's just whammo that guy right in the face. This would be a great build for Shuriken. But yeah, you know, that's a good point. As long as... Hello. Uh, it's worth it. And we got another Echo Form. Alright. I mean, I'm going to take some damage here, but that's fine. Could you have used Terra on the boss? No. FIFO Q. An empty bin. Let's use FIFO Q, which gets doubled. I've got orb slots for days. Can you say Frosty? I've got more orb slots than any man, woman, child, or child looking creature would know what to do with. All right, let's hologram me up another claw snap. Claw again. Loop. And I could defend. I could capacitor. I'm not going to get through him. I think I'm at max orb slots, right? 4, 10, yeah. Let's just defend. He's going to hit me really hard anyway. Bias Cognition. Or more Echo Form. Alright, well I've got Echo Form for days. Bias Cognition would have been kind of nice. Specialized Circuitry. Eh. Well, that's some scaling. Steroid Potion. Fission. Darkness Call. 
can only be played if you have a dark orb channel. To apply one lock onto it and then move the lotus post HP. No. Fission would be interesting. I think I'm gonna still skip. No, let's go fission. Fission could be kind of handy. Okay, so we could go Bell, Astrolabra, Sealed Pack. Three relics, three curses. More energy, but that's useless. Sealed pack's kind of interesting, or ding dong, let's see what we get. So I got a disease, unplayable retain. At the end of your turn, put a copy of this card into your discard pile. That's terrifying. Spreading infection. At the end of your turn, duplicate all other status and curse cards in your hand. Um. Oh, shoot. That's a problem. That might kill this run. <laughs> Pawn pickup, lose 25% of your max HP. At the start of combat, gain three regen. Sure. Cunning Disguise. There's another character on future card re reward screens. You have one additional card to choose from. That'll be from that character. Uh... Okay. I'm not sure which one of these characters would be good. Let's go Ironclad for powers and Lantern. So that probably wasn't worth it. I don't know about Marissa. I'm just going to go Ironclad because I know he's got some mad powers that I can rely on. Okay, three mystery machine, couple of bonfires. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. One last bonfire, though. Probably worth it. Small chance one of them will be a shop. Creative AI. Gets me another one. Hit him with that. Defend. Let's terrify the, the big one. And just try and wait. If we're lucky, we'll get a card removal event. Unfortunately, I've seen a lot of them go by already, which is worrying. Okay, Static Discharge. Cool Headed. Hologram. Give me Claw Snap back. Okay, so Spreading Infection will only duplicate stuff in my hand. So it might not be that big of a deal. Yeah, no shops because of Mafile, only only Elites. Sort of? Shop spaces are reduced with Elite spaces. It says nothing about... Um, it says nothing about mystery spaces, though. And that's the question. Because we might, we might get lucky and have, like, a shop on a question mark space. Okay, we could do... Defo Q. Vision. All right, we get disease. We have FTL. We have hologram. We have FTL again. Ah, it doesn't work, but that's okay. All right, that's dead, and he's not gonna harm me. So we are gonna end up with more diseases, though. As long as I can get rid of disease from my deck, we'll be okay. And even then, like, I scale pretty fast. This would be more of an issue on other ones. First Lightning, Hemokinesis. Blizzard might not be a bad idea with this build. Three times the number of Frost channeled. I'm still not channeling that much Frost here, though. Okay, Creative AI. Claw Snap. We do have Fission. This is gonna hurt. Let's drink. Let's pop that. Gives me a cool headed. Claw him. Do that. Didn't really give me that amazing, and I 
Thing spreading infection duped. Yeah, duped me another. Well, that's okay. Ugh. This is gonna be weird awkward. Hologram, give me another claw snap. More claw snap we have, the better. Tank up, and we get more diseases. Oh god, disease is horrifying. Alright, let's do machine learning. At least I, I scale some amount of strength here, which is nice. Overclock. Draw through cards, add a burn, no. Steam barrier, no. Burst lightning, no. Run through is interesting, but yeah, not still not what I'm looking for. Glowing Tesseract. Yes, I've got some regen anyway. Grab Finesse. Grab... Metamorphosis, just because it's interesting. And Banana. Which is hilarious. Okay, so I was gonna go to the left. In retrospect. I wanted to? No, I'm gonna go up this way. More bonfires means upgrades. Even if I can't get rid of... my cards, maybe I'll end up stronger. I don't actually know if this is a better idea. Okay. I am Warfighter Boss from Act 1. Obtain a rare relic. I am awake. Upgrade all cards. You can no longer heal. No. Let's fight Slime Boss again. I will... I will... Twain him so hard. Okay. So we get Charge Battery. Hologram, we might as well keep Claw Snap going. I'll be in a good spot. This guy is not nearly as threatening. Sort of. I mean, he kind of is. There's Spreading Infection. Claw and Doom. Claw again. Claw Rage. Which gets him down. Perfect. Yeah, we can smack him around, no problem. Alright, there's Creative AI. He's not gonna hurt me that much. Let's do Cool Headed. Claw. Plotter. And he's gonna hurt me a little. That's fine. I should probably upgrade Fission. Now that I'm thinking about it. Well, let's start by terrifying this guy. Oh. Oh, I didn't have any cards there. Well, that sucks a bit. Hope you get one of the A AOE ones. Game one focus every turn. Lose all focus when you... Interesting. Let's do Claw and Doom first. And we'll just do Claw Rage. Prayer Wheel. It's okay. Undeath's Touch. Deal one damage two times, apply one to crap it. It's okay. Shielding for every two... Uh, two shielding for every three cards in your discard pile. Meh. I feel like Claw Line hasn't been changed very well. Let's grab that. I'm curious how shielding will go. Claw Snap. Claw. Exhaust all status and curse cards. Let's burn those, because this guy is kind of spooky. Gain zero total. Yeah, so we're just gonna... We're just going to let Funnel handle us. There's Banana. Now, unfortunately, he's intangible on this round, but that's okay. FTL. Hologram. Give me Claw Snap back. Charge battery. He's gonna hit me for 15. I'm going to be fine. Perfect. Yeah, between Funnel and the Frost Orbs, we're actually in a really good spot. 
Eh, let's do cool headed. Iron wave for a just mid just damage. It's not amazing, but I'll take it. Okay, so let's do terror. Let's do loop. Do claw snap again. Claw again. I'm gonna fission. We're just gonna burn those. Doesn't do any damage. Which honestly surprises no one, but that's okay. And he still does no damage to me. Aha! Who headed? Claw! Oh, balls. I'd rethink this one a little bit. Claw again. Okay, this is going to hurt a lot. Dang. The timing on his freaking, uh... The timing on his freaking intangible there was awful. Okay, let's do hard light projector, charge battery, sharpshooter, no lock on, more claw, still nothing. Rebound. Okay, he's dead. Boomerang. Place the first attack card you play each turn on the top of your draw pile. That's nice. And when do you de delete an elite? Upgrade a random card. Nice. Alright, and we can get another claw snap. Lock and load would be interesting, but no, claw snap. Okay, at the very least I can heal a smidge. And we do have a little bit of healing. There he is. Thank you. All right, card removal service. Let us get rid of... Oh, I've got some money. Let's get rid of disease. Whenever you enter a shop, heal. No. Upon pickup, choose and add one random rare card to your deck. That'd be interesting. Now, I could buy... Huh. Honestly, let's grab Gift Box and grab Echo Form. And let's grab Happy Flower. How am I enjoying the googly eyes in this game? They're adorable and I love them. Uh, let's see. So do we... It's upgrading Banana. Two maximum HP. It's kind of nice. Oh, that makes Ethereal... It's kind of okay. Fission's neat because it evokes all the orbs. Let's do Fission. I don't actually know if it's a good idea. The banana would be nice, but at maximum, we'd, it'd help us a little bit. Okay, so... Right-click to retain your hand for one round. That's actually really helpful. Claw snap. Claw again. Claw rage. And then we're going to just tank it all because it doesn't matter. Okay. Echo form. Claw snap. Claw snap. Vision. Gets me three more energy. Gets me another claw snap. Gets me finesse. Gets me hologram, which gets me another claw snap. Claw snap again. Charge battery. And I could defend, but it's meaningless. Okay. Let's see. So, we don't have a whole lot in my... FTL twice. Banana. FTL again. Claw. Cool-headed. Creative AI. Claw. Hard light projector. It'll give me 10 shield. And defend. Perfect. This is a weird build. I like it. But it's a weird build. Okay, let's start with Terror. Okay, so that put him way on the defensive. Let's play Storm. Gotta get more power. Okay, so I could do FIFO Q... Or we can just go nuts with Claw Rage here. This Echo Form plus Claw Rage is scary. Let's 
Scraping Claw. Let's grab Scraping Claws. We can afford it. And we can get a Metallicize. That's good stuff. Gain gold, gain, gain gold. Okay, and let's just go this way. Smith up Echo Form, Smith up Metallicize, Smith up Banana for a little bit more. It's okay. They're all okay. Let's go Metamorphosis. Go cheap. I, if we'd started much earlier with banana, I would have gone 100% for banana here. But yeah, because we don't have the, uh... Feel some damage. Claw, claw. Fission gets me some block. Gets me another scraping claw. I can do that. Let's claw again. Hard light projector. And there's no point in defending. Okay. So we don't have echo form running, do we? No. We have creative AI. Well, I'm just gonna banana anyway. Capacitor. FTL. Claw snap. Metamorphosis for just free cards. And we got some claws in there. Good. Okay, I think he's finally going to constrict me. Wow, it took him long enough. Alright. Oh, well, we've got buffer. Gotta get buff. Claw lightning. Finesse. FTL. Claw lightning again. Burst lightning. Scales with focus, not strength. Which is unfortunate because... Well, obvious reasons. Okay, sharpshooter. Terror. Flying Beam. There's Echo Form. Let's do Echo Form. Claw. Sharpshooter. Burst Dark. Perfect. We get a Strength Potion, and any of these powers? No. For each attack exhausted, deal two damage to all enemies. Exhaust? Nah. Claw Lightning? Kind of interesting. Time Bomb. Skill, gain two orb slots, channel two glass. Let's grab Claw Lightning. Not a big fan of it, but still. Yeah, too late for genetic algorithm. Thunderclap could be kind of interesting. Same thing with Chaos. Chaos Plus? I'm probably too late to grab that. Oh, and we're up against the Transient. Alright, hit him with Terror, hit him with Metallicize. Claw Snap, regular Claw. He is going to hurt me. Not too much, though. Unfortunately, this guy's a bit, bit spooky. Alright, Claw Snap. Hologram. Give me another Claw. Claw. Scraping Claw. Claw snap again, claw again, and we'll just do chaos for a little bit of extra block, and that works out well because crystal is nice. Okay, banana, cool headed, claw, charge battery, defense. Yeah, unfortunately, half my claws didn't even show up here. We're doing surprisingly well, all things considered, but still. Okay, let's do Claw, Claw, Iron Wave, Vision, get some energy going, Claw, Defend, Claw Rage, which does nothing here, unfortunately. Oh, let's start with FTL. We need that. Followed by Claw Snap, Claw Lightning, Regular Claw. Metamorphosis, which doesn't go into the discard now that I'm thinking about it, unfortunately. Okay, well he still doesn't hurt me. Someday I will kill that guy. Not today, though. Corruption. Skills cost zero whenever you play a skill exhausted. Otherwise, I could do specialized circuitry. Let's do specialized circuitry. That's a little bit more helpful. And, uh, claw. Alright, let's heal up. 
And he's dead. He dies this turn. Soar! On taking attack damage, loses one focus. Cannot go below zero focus. I think I found the hard, hard combo for my for my run. Claw snap. Claw lightning. Hologram. Give me a claw lightning again. Metamorphosis. Let's just go nuts. And yes, I did finish a quest to claw. Not really that amazing or helpful. Ow. FTL. Claw. Finesse. Claw. FTL again. Doesn't actually help that much. Foster 2. He's still gonna hurt me pretty bad. Let's just use it anyway. He's got a baby Sneko. That's frustrating. All right, let's start with uh, Fission Plus. Okay, I want to do Clawing Beam, but I want to do Clawing Beam after. Why do I do no damage to this guy? I have no idea. Four damage, four damage to all enemies. Hence is a claw, claw rake, claw in beam, clotter, electrodynamics, and a defend. And that still leaves me with a bunch of energy. This is weird. Claw for one. Interesting. Is it resetting my claw damage in some weird way? It kind of looks like it, yeah. Well, I'm gonna go with that. Because I want to kill this baby Sneko. It... It feels like, like... The claw... Damage scaling situation isn't working right. Like, something's wrong with this. Because, like, some of these claw items are not... Yeah, deal minus two damage. It's... Oh, it's all claw cards that are in my hand. I got it. So it's it's not that there's some kind of claw damage ticker, it's it's that oh god, this guy really is like super dangerous to me. What is going on here? Okay. That was weird. Let's do specialized circuitry. I gotta go frost. We need the defense. And let's do a claw snap. So now I'm confused as well. Ugh. Summoning a Grand Mystic. Let's see, Terra. Let's do a Metallicize. Cool headed. Adds a backfire to your draw and discard piles. Oh, I killed a Sneko. I get a. Random mod. Cool. That's actually kind of helpful. Maybe not helpful for here. Oh, uh, it's not in my deck, so I can't actually look at it. Oh, because I've got this thing, I can get rid of the backfires, which is good. Okay. So, Darkness Call. Nope, that's about as useless as you can get. Well. This is awkward. And it gets converted. Yeah, my only hope here is that we don't lose too many of my claws, and I'm able to generate enough power here. Because I think I lost my creative AI. 
Well, I can take a banana. We can do a claw rake. I can do a cool headed. Crystal conduit gets me a little bit more. He's not going to hit me that much. But yeah, so the problem is, uh, the first card I draw every round gets converted into something else. And that has became a uh, problem for me. For what should be incredibly obvious reasons. Do we do RNG? No, that's just going to be heavy defense. Almost no point in it. Let's just do that. Panic button. Draw it back. Again, we're just going to do that. It doesn't help. Yeah, because effectively, uh, Boomerang is screwing me here. The first uh, card I draw every turn... Or, the, the first... ...card I, I, I draw every turn is, is a claw. Okay, let's kill him. Hit him. We're good. I just gotta hope we get enough claws from random drops. Or something. Okay, so we get claw line, which really isn't that helpful. But that's fine. Get scraping claw. So let's me redraw claw line. I've got Penib ready. I might be able to do this, but oh god. Sneko boss is scary boss for this. Alright. Uh crystal conduit. Helps. Hologram kind of helps. Gimme. What do we have? Claw line. That'll get rid of the claw line, which we don't even need or want here. Okay, there's some dazed, but that's that's fine. Claw line gets turned into a crystal conduit. Cool headed gets gets me a card. I gotta start going with, with big scary here. Uh, and I'm not even gonna bother with the leap. Ah, my claw. Yeah, I don't even know how many claws I have left in my deck. Probably, yeah, I'm gonna die here. Vanquished. It was an interesting run, but Sneko was brutal. Okay, well, we gotta do that one more time. Do we... Honestly, I think I'm gonna see if I can turn off the... the claw... mod. It's fun, but, uh, maybe a little bit too much. Config. Nothing here at this time. Ugh. Alright, so we gotta quit out of the game to turn it off.